What is your legacy? You know, GOAT is such a thrown around word right now. And it's funny because I started using that in 2016 when I came back and no one even really knew what it was. I got it from a rap song. I remember Vince was like, why are you calling yourself a GOAT? I'm like, well, it's the greatest of all time. I was like, I wish it. I wish it was a better name, like a bear, like the bear or, you know, or the, or the rhino, but the goat kind of sounds dopey. But now, of course, everyone uses it. And I don't know, that's not for me to say, oh, I'm the goat. But if other people say it, it's much appreciated. Thank you. What I think I am one of the goats of is longevity and, um, and, uh, and not diversity. That's not the word I'm looking for, but always kind of keeping rele relevance, relevancy, relevancy. Uh, um, and also just always evolving the goat of evolving, you know, like David Bowie might not be the greatest singer of all time, but he is the goat of always changing his character and keeping it fresh and evolving uh, into something different by still, but still being David Bowie at the root of it. And I think it's the same for, for Chris Jericho and that I always do change things. And I just saw something the other day of like 12 different Jerichos on this picture and it's like, if you wanted to dress as Jericho on Halloween, you have 12 different options at least. And I don't think too many other wrestlers can, can say that. So if you want to talk about a goat, in my opinion, that's one of the things that I've done almost better than anybody else is constantly evolve and change to never be a nostalgia act. I never wanted to be that. I always wanted to have a new album to go out and tour on and not just keep relying, you know, on the stuff that I had done in the past. And I always knew when it was time, you know, I knew it was time to ditch Y2J in, in 07 when I came back, it just didn't work anymore. You know, um, I knew it was time to switch things up. You know, when, 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 when the pinnacle beat us down, you get rid of the, of the sunglasses and the flashy sequin jackets and what's next. Okay. We'll be back in black. Let's come back in black. And now it's more of a dark based black type of a look. And it's subtle, but it's it's something that people can go, oh, okay, this look is different from this look. And this attitude is different from that attitude. And I think it's something that people will pick up on the on it, but you have to lead them down that path and let them know this is a different guy. This is now a baby face. This is now a heel. This is now somebody who's gone to another company or someone who has gone to a different country. Like there always has to be something a little bit twisted and different about it to keep people's um attention and to keep yourself relevant is that an acdc thing the back in black is that what you were going for there you wanted to be like you obviously when they return bond scott passes brian johnson comes they do the back in black and yeah i mean I, we actually tried to get back in black for our return promo wow after the after we uh, uh attacked the pinnacle in, in our dressing room and they, they wouldn't even give us the time of day i mean there's been other ones that like you know van, we wanted van halen Right after Eddie died, we wanted to use running with the devil and they came back with $500,000. And I was like, well, that's just a polite way of saying no fucking way. ACDC didn't even come back with that. But yeah, I see them on, a, on an Applebee's commercial using back in black. So uh, I guess they're fans of the, uh, of the uh, you know, baby back ribs or something like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just thought the whole concept of back in black that fit. It's a, it's a, it's a saying that everybody knows uh, it rolls off the tongue and it fit kind of the mindset of what we're doing. We're coming back more focused serious and darker and that's kind of how it's been throughout this whole return thank you for watching the hannibal tv please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews match videos or news updates support us on patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad free and help our channel grow follow us on twitter at the hannibal tv for instant updates